All right, guys, back. Um, continuing the Earl Spence and uh, Porter card. Um, I'm going to talk about Anthony Durrell versus David Benavidez, WBC super middleweight title fight. Um, this fight could really steal the show, potentially. Um, really good fight. Both guys are hungry. David Benavidez is trying to reclaim his belt that he lost on that, you know, that sugar daddy. Um, but, you know, he's a young kid, you know, make mistakes. Um He's back at it, looked great in his last fight versus Jaley on Love, which I think was also in the Earl Spence card. It was Mikey fight. Um, I think he knocked out Jaley on Love in two rounds, sparked him. Uh, he beat Rogelio Medina a couple of years ago with that famous uh, seven punch com or 15 punch combination. Um, you know, fought Ronald Gavril twice. You know, <clears throat> first fight, you know, really, really close. And then the rematch, he. Completely blew him out. So, um, uh, good fighter. You know, I like David Benavidez. You know, he's only 22. Box work, they got to list him at 6'1", 77 inch reach. Um, although every time I see him and Darrell, he always looks taller. Um, so, and Darrell, I think he's about 6'2". So, I think Benavidez is like 6'2 and a half, maybe 6'3". He might have grew too since the last time they did the box rec update or whatever. So, you know, he's 22. You know, he still can grow. Um, but I think David Benavidez looks always, every time they're around, he always looked a little bit taller. Um, you know, big, strong kid, got nice, pretty nice hand speed, got nice power. He's got some size, um, you know, youth versus, um, the seasoned Darrell fighter, you know, Darrell. Um, I always felt about the Darrell brothers, you know, they've always kind of underachieved in my opinion. Um, not bad fighters, but I think they've kind of just... For their height, you know, they both, I think they both won a bronze medal. And um, they both kind of underachieved to me. Not bad fighters, like I said, but, you know, I don't think they quite lived up to their potential. Uh, and they, you know, they had a lot going on, too. You know, Darrell's always had, uh, his older brother, Andre, always been in some, like, goofy situation with weird DQs and stuff. The incident with his uncle, you know, uh, Anthony Darrell, he himself survived cancer, just like Danny Jacobs. Um, you know, years, years back. Um, I think it was a little bit during the Super 6 time, so. Or maybe a little after that. Um, but, you know, Anthony's a solid fighter. Kind of a plotter who can box a little bit. He's got a good jab. He's got nice power, decent speed. I think he's 33-1-1 one one with 24 knockouts. Um, Benavidez, 21-0, 18 knockouts. I think Durrell's 34 so, 12 years, um, David Sr. Um, it's going to be a good fight, though, man. Uh, Styles definitely make fights. Benavidez showed he can box a little bit versus Gavril. Gavril's a, kind of a one-dimensional pressure fighter, but, you know, he showed an educated jab. You know, really, really good combination puncher. He reminds me of um, a little bit of Canelo when Canelo was coming up. Um, you know, uh, he's not the defensive fighter that Canelo is now, but offensively he reminds me a lot of Canelo really creative combination punching nice speed one thing I don't love about David Benavides when he throws combinations he kind of slaps with his punches a little bit kind of like Canelo kind of slaps with his punches it's not always concrete um I think because you do throw so many punches you can get caught in between um you know it's kind of been the downfall of guys like Amir Khan even Pacquiao you know when you throw five six seven punches at a time if you're facing an elite counter puncher and they punch in between your punches, you can get caught and sat down. In fact, that's what happened to David Benavidez in the last round when he fought Gavril. 12th round, he threw like a six-piece combination and Gavril threw a right hand in between and, you know, put him down. So, um, And I think uh, Darrell hits harder than Gavril. He himself is not a bad counter puncher. Not a great one, but not a bad one. He can throw in between David's punches, so... I think David just, you know, be cognizant of, you know, um, not uh, throwing the same speed of punches, mix the speed of your punches, definitely go downstairs. Darrell's an older fighter, so I always say when you're facing an older fighter, go to the body, make him feel that age, put the pressure on him. Um, for Anthony Darrell, I think he should box just enough. Um, I'm not a fan of using excess movement. No, I don't believe in running and boxing. You're in a confined space. If you can't cut the ring off, that's your fault. Get better footwork. Um, I think David is um, 
not bad at cutting the ring off. Not great, but I don't think he's bad at it. Um, I don't think Darrell's the type of fighter that can truly expose that. If he can, can or can't really cut the ring off, I think um, Caleb Plant or um, Anthony's brother would be more likely to show how good of a... Um, uh, at cutting the ring off David is but I think David is solid enough uh, like I said really good um, combination punching power he's younger so he's got less wars on him he got more fight experience than people think you know he sparred Triple G Peter Quillen I think um, I think he sparred Chavez Jr. way back in the day so he's he's got more experience than people think um, Anthony Durrell's a good fighter he's definitely got the experience edge um, but you know, he's the older fighter. His last fight versus, um, <clears throat> I can't, I can't pronounce his name. It's like Yildrim. I think that's his last name. I think he's from Turkey. Um, that fight was way too competitive for my liking. Um, considering, you know, Darrell's capabilities and, um, Yildrim who got beat the snot out of by Chris Eubank Jr. Who I don't think is, you know, a special fighter. I mean, he's a good athlete. He always stays in shape. Stuff of that nature, but you know, to me, Darrell's more skilled than um, Chris Eubank, and Chris Eubank sparked uh, Yildrim, I think, in like three or four rounds. So um, the fact that that fight was that competitive, I don't, you know, that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, I think you know Darrell would definitely step up his preparation for this fight. I think he's got um, Javon Sugar Hill, <clears throat> or not Hill, excuse me, Javon Stewart, Emmanuel Stewart's nephew. Um, as his trainer, former Adonis Stevenson trainer. I think Adonis is doing pretty well, so shout out to him. Um, but I think for Darrell, mainly just use the jab, box the kid. Um, uh, definitely punch in between David's punches because David's definitely going to throw combinations. That's, you know, kind of one of his better traits. Um, I would go to his body. You know, David's a big kid. Um, definitely go to his body, jab the body, throw right hands to the body. Um, I wouldn't throw too, I think for Darrell, it's fighting at the right pace. I wouldn't fight too high of a fast pace. Cause I think that favors the, the younger fighter, but, um, you know, David does have, you know, some nice boxing ability, you know, he's got a nice jab, um, but you can always jab with a jabber, um, definitely punch in between his combinations. I think for Darrell, use enough movement, not saying a lot of movement, but use enough movement to throw David off, keep him honest. Um, you know, I wouldn't bank on trying to take him to deep waters. He's already went 12 rounds twice, so I don't think that's going to work. I think, um, you know, I, I, I just, I'm not saying Anthony can't win. Everyone's got a chance, but as long as David stays on his P's and Q's, I think he should win the fight. I think he's just a younger, fresher fighter. Um, you know, he's had better performances as, as the last couple of years. I think as long as David doesn't get overzealous and doesn't try to, you know, do the Anthony Joshua where he gets, you know, a little bit too carried away, stays within himself, stays at the right pace, the right course, then I think David should really, you know, have a, a fairly solid performance against, you know, a solid but aging fighter. I think David probably wins. I'm going to say... It could go 12 rounds. Um, I think it kind of depends how many body shots he's able to get off on Anthony Durrell. I think if he's able to go to the body early and often, kind of like the Spence Porter fight, the more shots he can get off to the body, especially early and then accumulate late, then I could see David stopping Anthony Durrell in the late rounds. But if he's not able to get off the body game, then um, pause, then um, I can see it going 12 rounds. I'll probably go with the late stoppage. For David Benavidez, but you know, David's been caught before. He can definitely get caught. Like I said, when dealing with a combination puncher, throwing between their punches, and Anthony Durrell is good at that. He definitely stays his ground well. Um, I think Durrell should jab with Benavidez, if not double, triple his jab. <clears throat> you know, make him use angles. Don't come straight forward to David Benavidez. You know, if you do that, he's he's gonna get beat up. You know, same thing with Porter, you're gonna get beat up doing that. Got to use angles, box, move enough, move just enough. Because, um, you know, he's, he's a big kid, you know, strong kid. And he got sneaky hand speed, so. Um, but this, I think this style of matchup actually favors more than um, Spence and Porter. Um, but, 
I got David winning probably a late stoppage, but I think it'll be a good fight. I'm glad it's happening. Fight probably, I think, was supposed to happen last year, but I'm glad we got it now. Uh, let me know who you guys think is going to win. Let me know what you think about the rest of 168. I think Jacobs is moving up. I think he's fighting Chavez Jr. pretty soon. Um, you know, Peter Quillen just got beat by Angulo. Um, you know, so maybe... <laughs> I, I don't know why. Uh, wow. Angulo beat Peter Quillen, man. That's crazy. Um, maybe we'll get Caleb Plant versus <laughs> Angulo. Um, uh, hopefully they can get Caleb Plant and David Benavides next year. I think that's the the big fight of the division. Chris Eubank. I I heard he's on the fence. He might move down to 160, maybe sticks around 168. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He got Billy Joe Saunders. Um, although I heard uh, he's not trying to fight Demetrius Andre in 168 on the KSI Logan Paul fight. Um, that's, I just think Billy Joe don't want to smoke. I like Billy Joe as a boxer, but I don't think he wants that smoke with Boo Boo. Um, it is what it is, man, but definitely a good scrap on the undercard of Earl Spence Porter, Fox, PBC, Fox pay-per-view, excuse me, today. Um, but I got, you know, I got Benavidez probably by late stoppage, but it should be an entertaining fight forever long at last. But let me know what you guys think. Drop comments, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Take it easy.